Company results were released today and the initial response of investors changed dramatically throughout the day, Francis. Yeah, interesting to watch the market. So Standard Bank reported a rise in profits and initially the share price rose, but by the close, shares were more than 1% in the red and it must be said it was generally a bad day for financials. Famous brands, mm. uh, the owner of Debenay's Pizza and Mug and Bean, a warning of lower profits today. Initially, their shares plunged by more than 8%. They ended up more than 1.5%, so a real change of heart among investors. Yeah, meanwhile, gold miners rose despite reporting lower earnings. Expectations that the U.S. may delay a rate hike are good for the prospects of uh, the metal, and therefore the miners uh, were gainers as a result of that. Let's take a look at those numbers. Harmony Gold reported a 35% rise in full-year profit helped by steady year-on-year -year production and gains from Rand Gold hedges that lifted revenue. Headline earnings per share rose to 2 rands 98 from 2 rands 21 a year earlier. On the other hand, Goldfield has posted a 25% drop in first half normalized earnings. Earnings fell to 77 million US dollars in the six months to June from 103 million US dollars a year earlier. CEO Nick Holland says the decline in revenue was as a result of stronger exchange rates in South Africa and Australia. The physicals in the business were the same. We produced the same gold. In fact, the costs were down, so the fundamentals were good. This was really currencies that were strengthening here in South Africa and in Australia. And we had some higher amortization in Ghana at Tarkwa because we lost a, a year's reserves and also we were mining quicker. Diversified South African miner Xara reported increased headline earnings per share up 185 cents to 822 cents. It says improved commodity prices played a big role. We embarked on a strategy of ensuring that we have a very diversified product mix to be able to cater for many markets, both domestic and global. And what that has enabled us to do is to be able now to start choosing the type of markets that we can play into where we can get maximum value. Standard Bank, the only bank to release its financial results today, reported an 11% increase in half-year profit. Headline earnings per share totaled 746 cents in the six months to June, compared to 671 cents a year earlier. Africa's number two lender by market value says the increase was as a result of a rebound in commodity prices boosted by a demand for loans from clients in the oil and mining industry. Diabo Seto, SAPC News, Johannesburg.